And that's why when it was happening, we both told each other that it was wrong and that we needed to stop. This is really hard to talk about considering so many people hate me right now for this. And I don't blame you, but then again, like none of this was meant to be on social media in the first place. I would never do anything without his consent and we didn't do anything besides kiss. Hello everybody, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are having a great day. If you are not, just remember tomorrow is always a new day to dust yourself off and try again. Now with that being said, we are back here again today talking about the Zoe Laverne situation. As you guys have probably already seen, there was a video leaked of Zoe kissing a 13 year old minor, but let's talk about this. So not yesterday, today but the day before Zoe Laverne had come out on her Instagram live and had said this a lot of people are making this out to be something that it's not and making it to be worse than it seems um, by calling me a groomer and everything so I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I didn't groom Connor not like wouldn't do that to him literally love connor to death they wouldn't do anything to connor ever without consent connor and i both consented to kissing that was how it went we both liked each other and then we realized that the ages were too different so 13 year olds can actually not consent to anything in the state of indiana which is where zoe lives and it states that in indiana the age of consent is 16. once someone reaches 16 years of age the laws allow them to make their own decisions about their relations so she states that people are making this situation out to be bigger than it is basically in her words blowing it out of proportion now i think it's very clear that situations like these don't go unnoticed this is a situation where it's an almost 20 year old who was caught kissing a 13 year old minor in bed that already looks bad enough as it is however we as a people take stuff like this super super seriously because you know an adult's relationship with a minor is just not legal and it's just not morally right you know i wouldn't be making this video people would not be so angry if this was normal and if this was legal but it isn't fortunately because i don't think minors should have consensual relationships with adults because there are laws in place to prevent that because minors are not fully developed in the mind yet and any intimacy between an adult and a minor just is not consensual even if they both say yes because a minor doesn't understand at that time exactly what they are doing and it can lead to very very traumatizing situations later on in their lives. Zoe said that she had caught feelings towards him and that the minor caught feelings towards her. And then the videos got leaked and it became a bigger issue and it became something that it wasn't supposed to be and because social media is so toxic nowadays and because people like to put their little noses into other people's business it makes it worse than it needs to be so i'm here to tell you guys right now that this all was dragged out of proportion and put into something that it was not people have so many rumors going around saying different things and it's none of the stuff that people are saying is true i didn't groom connor wouldn't do that he's a kid and i'm aware of that and it just happened we both were in a dark place when we first like became friends and we both just ended up catching feelings for each other and friends do that they catch feelings for each other that's not a bad thing Her being the adult should have been like, hey, no, we can't do this. This is not right. And I'm still like confused as to why she went ahead and not only just filmed what she did with the minor, which was kissing him, but proceeded to do that action in the first place. She has such a huge career online. And as she said, her fan base is set around minors. My career is set on minors. Why ruin all of that by kissing a minor? It just doesn't make sense to me. What doesn't make even more sense to me is the fact that she's trying to justify the situation when it is not justifiable by any means. People like Gemini Official have been banished from the internet because of the similar actions. And you know, that's just what happens when you do something like that. And as I've already said, this isn't some silly mistake, some slip up that you're able to come 
come back from and apologize and grow from, she keeps saying things that just are not the right things to say. And that leads me to believe that she doesn't have a proper adult figure around her to be like, hey, Zoe, what you're saying and what you're doing is not right. Let's approach this a different way. She said that she was going to take a break off of social media until she could better herself and get herself better and get the help she needs. I don't think Zoe even has proper friends around her either to be like, hey, what you're saying and what you're doing is just making things worse because before she even released a proper statement about the situation, you know, like talking on her live streams as she usually does when something like this pops up, she proceeds to make jokes about it on TikTok. And it just minimizes the situation so much because it's like, why are you joking about something like this? She thinks this is funny and it's, it's really not. She also said this in her live stream. The reason why people are coming at me and Connor for making jokes about it, it's just because we're trying to get over the situation because we actually know what went on and we actually know what happened. And I had told like Connor's family, like straight up that we did before anything was said about it and before videos got leaked. I am 19 years old. Yes, I am labeled as an adult, but I am still a teenager. And we all mess up and we all do things that we don't know, but we have to learn from experience. And I know that I'm not the only person that has been put in this position before. And the only reason why I've been put in this position is because of social media making it out to be something that it's not. And it's bothering the both of us because Connor doesn't like people calling me a Like, I know he doesn't. Even though I can't talk to him, I know it's hurting him because he knows that I'm not like that. He knows that I'm not a a lot of people aren't happy about this particular live stream because she kept making remarks like people like to stick their noses where they don't belong. She just kept saying things that just were not the right things to say. No blame should have been put onto the minor because minors just cannot consent. It just this situation is just so super sticky, especially with the fact that it's like the more she doesn't take this seriously, the worse it's going to be for her. Now that is pretty much the end of the video because that's all we really have. The minor did go live yesterday, but I'm just not going to be adding that into this video because it just doesn't feel right. Now, with that being said, guys, that's all I have for today's video. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Please take care and stay safe.